Ladies and gentlemen, our first contender is number 170. Here's Jose's Revival. Casey Wright is in the irons and campaigns the entry for Debbie Woods of Lexington. Jose's Revival and Casey Wright. All right, Dan Waddell, then R.M. Kellett. Next to join us in the Big Oval tonight is number 559, Honor and Remember. Dan Waddell is up for George and Kim Lewis of Newville, Alabama. Honor and Remember and Dan Waddell. All right, R.M. Kellett, come on, then John Allen Callaway. R.M. Kellett, then John Allen Callaway. Number 711 is Mr. True Blue. Owned by the Jacobs family of Murfreesboro, R.M. Kellett is in the irons riding Mr. True Blue, number 711. All right, John Allen Callaway, then Link Webb. John Allen, then Link. Number 973 is Justified Honors. John Allen Calloway is in the irons for Lisa Baum of Shelbyville. Justified Honors and John Allen Calloway. Link Webb, come on. Link Webb, then Jimmy McConnell. Link Webb, then Jimmy, then Jeff. Number 1314 is Dixie Road. Link Webb campaigns the entry for Joe Barnes of Pigeon Forge. Link Webb and Dixie Road, entry 1314. Jimmy and then Jeff. Continuing with our March of Championship Contenders tonight, here's 1344, Mach 1. Jimmy McConnell rides for the Molly Walters family of Rancho Mirage, California. Mach 1 and Jimmy McConnell. Jeff Long. Rounding out our championship contenders this year, here's entry 1414, Glory JC. Jeff Laughlin is up for Janny Chapman of Owens Crossroads, Alabama. Glory JC and Jeff Laughlin. Close the gate, please. That's the class. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about our field of championship contenders tonight? Would you give them all a big welcoming round of applause? Judge Bonner will be the call judge for our World Grand Championship class tonight, our final order of business for the 85th celebration to crown the champion walking horse of the world. And we'll get started with everybody on the rail showing at a flat walk.
Patriots run and walk time riders. Call on your championship contenders and ask them to go at a run and walk. Walk, please. Back to a flat walk. And now it's canter time. Show it the canter, please. Walk, please. Back to a flat walk. And reverse. in our Tennessee Walking Horse World Grand Championship class. Everybody turned around, show it at a flat walk, please. your World Grand Championship contenders now and ask them to go at a run and walk. It's run and walk time. Let them walk on. Uh, who do you like? Shelbyville. Cheer on your favorite tonight. Walk, please. Back to a flat walk. Now canter. Show with the canter. Walk, please. Back to a flat walk. Riders, it's lineup time. I'd like four of you on the west side, head to tail. Three of you on the east side, head to tail. All of you facing the south turn. As we excuse the grooms from this class, how about a nice round of applause to not only recognize them, but all of the grooms who have had these horses looking great and in world championship form all week long at the celebration.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, would you like to see a little more tonight? Well, our judges agree with you. They'd like to see some more. We're going to put all seven of the entries back on the rail. So, riders, find you a good spot. Spread yourselves out. The World Grand Championship title is still on the line here on Saturday night. Uh, the cards haven't been marked. Decisions have not been made at this point. You've done your advertising. You've done your campaigning. You've made your fans. But now it's time to let your walking do your talking as you ride for a World Grand Championship here at our 85th celebration. Everybody back on the rail. First wave showing at a flat walk, please. Riders, call on your championship contenders and ask them to show it a run and walk. It's run and walk time. Let them walk on. and look at these wanting to be our 2023 World Grand Champion. Depending on the competition, depending on the year, I feel like any one of these seven could wear the roses. They're all World Grand Championship caliber. They make us proud here on this Saturday night. A level playing field and a great group of contenders. But only one of you will be the World Grand Champion when it's all said and done. Bobby Sands will tell me to remind you to check your coat tail. Check your curb chain, get an encouraging word. We want you sitting tight and looking right on this Saturday night before Labor Day because we want to crown a world grand champion. We're almost there. Everybody show it at a flat walk, please. Riders, one more time. Take a deep seat and call on your championship contenders and show them how to run and walk. It's run and walk time. Let them walk on. Ah, yes, we're looking for a world grand champion in our 85th celebration. Who do you like? Who do you want to wear the roses when this is all said and done tonight? Walk, please. Back to a flat walk. Thank you, riders. It's lineup time to the south turn.
everybody good? Ladies and gentlemen, how about a great round of applause for our World Grand Championship contenders tonight? I mean, some of you that have been coming for years remember when there were three, four workouts in a class. I think we just had three or four for some of them. We're going to ask our World Grand Champion to ride to your right. All the way around the big oval and back in over on the east side to claim the aforementioned awards. The spotlight searches for our 2023 Tennessee Walking Horse World Grand Champion. Crowned here at the 85th Annual Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. That spotlight will land on back number 973. Justified Honors and John Allen Calloway. Lisa Baum owns the entry from Shelbyville. Justified Honors and John Allen Calloway riding under our spotlight tonight. It's a ride they've now made three years in a row. Justified Honors and John Allen Calloway done something only an elite group of teams have done. This is their third World Grand Championship in a row, putting them in the same category as I Am Jose and Talk of the Town. John Allen. There are other trainers who have won four World Grand Championships. Jimmy McConnell has done it. Steve Hill has done it. Billy Gray has done it. And Winston Weiser has won five. But in our 85-year history, no rider has ever won four World Grand Championships in a row until tonight. John Allen, congratulations. With that ride, they retired the Clyde and Bill Tune Memorial Challenge Trophy. They retired the Founders Challenge Trophy. They retired the Les Nelson Memorial Challenge Trophy and retired the Musgrave Pencil Company Challenge Trophy. John Allen, congratulations on a great ride. It wasn't an easy win, though, tonight. We've got a lot of great horses in the class. All others to your right. The reserve champion is 170, Jose's Revival. Casey Wright is up for Debbie Woods of Lexington. Jose's Revival and Casey Wright, 170, is reserve. Third is 1314, Dixie Road. Link Webb for Joe Barnes of Pigeon Forge. Dixie Road and Link Webb, 1314, is third. Fourth is 1414, Glory JC. Jeff Laughlin for Janny Chapman of Owens Crossroads, Alabama. Glory JC and Jeff Laughlin are fourth. Fifth is 711, Mr. True Blue. R.M. Kellett is up for the Jacobs family of Murfreesboro. Mr. True Blue and R.M. Kellett, 711 is fifth. Sixth is 1344, Mach 1. Jimmy McConnell for the Molly Walters family of Rancho Mirage, California. Mach 1 and Jimmy McConnell, 1344 is sixth. Seventh is 559, honor and remember Dan Waddell for George and Kim Lewis of Newville, Alabama. Honor and remember and Dan Waddell. Jim and Lisa Baum out here. We need them to present the owner's trophy to themselves. One more photo op with the owners of our world grand champion. Then we'll take the rail for a final victory pass of our 85th celebration.
All right, let's get that owner's photo so we can see our world grand champion victory pass tonight. Uh, one of those moments that will be talked about for generations to come. One of those things that our children's children, when they sit in these seats, will talk about when John Allen Callaway made history and became the first rider ever to win four in a row, four World Grand Championships in a row, 2020 with Masters Razzle and Jazz, and then 2021, 2022, and 23 with Justified Honors. Not only a World Grand Championship ride tonight, but a ride into our history books. And a great crowd has joined us here in the Big Oval for this Saturday night. You've been an outstanding crowd all night long. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to see the victory pass of your 2023 World Grand Champion? A round of honor here in the Big Oval to close out our 85th celebration. It's Justified Honors in John Allen Callaway. The entry owned by Lisa Baum of Shelbyville. Justified Honors in John Allen Callaway. They wear the roses and ride into the history books as our 85th annual celebration, Tennessee Walkenhorse World Grand Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, would you send them out with a round of applause that lets them know and lets the world know how much we love our horses and love our world grand champion, John Allen, congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, as I said before, you've been a great crowd tonight.